All right, moving on to this next news story. Coming from Grace Benfell, Benfell over at GameSpot.com. Insomniac reportedly creating a mystery AAA game for PlayStation. Uh, 22, a 2022 interview with the project lead has newly emerged. Insomniac is reportedly working on a third AAA game for PlayStation alongside its soon-to-be-released Marvel Spider-Man 2 and the upcoming Wolverine title. A newly surfaced interview with an Insomniac employee revealed that the game is in production. No other details about the game uh, emerged, but Twitter account Dreamwalker spotted the interview with project director Aaron Eberhardt along with three other game developers. Eberhardt worked at Sony on PlayStation Now and Blizzard at its eSports division before making her way to Insomniac. The interview is from September 2022, but is now making the rounds on social media. Uh, here's the tweet. It has a little video interview. So it was like an interview from uh, Full Sail University. Uh, they must have had like some game developers on, um, probably in connection with their game development the college uh, degree that they offer. Um, and so I watched through it and yeah, a couple times she mentioned some unannounced game coming from Insomniac that she's a part of. Uh, so no concrete details about the project are stated, uh, but Push Square reported that Insomniac was hiring for a multiplayer game two years ago. And given Eberhardt's esports experience over at Blizzard, it's possible that this project could be multiplayer focused. Eberhardt did express lots of enthusiasm for working on the project. She says, it feels really good to be back home to Sony. I feel like they really invest in their employees. They invest in our education. They invest in our well-being. They invest in our growth. I'm having a blast, even if I can't talk about it. So, yeah, not not much to go off of. It's, But it's just interesting how this came out last year and it just like went over a lot of people's heads. Like no yeah. one even like picked up like, oh, there's another game that they're working on over there. Uh, what's what's the deal with that um i think there's something to the multiplayer thing uh given playstation's kind of recent push for multiplayer games and we did the article last week about live service games being their new focus um which in my mind uh, you know i'm thinking like okay obviously they're trying like they already have a partnership with bungie and destiny yep. So is this going to be like uh, a, you know, because technically Destiny is a Sony produced game now. It wasn't before. Yes. Um, but um, was, wasn't was. Yeah, exactly. So I wonder if this is kind of be like there, there may be a foray into that type of game. And it's like a pure PlayStation exclusive type Destiny game or something like that. Or, or you know, we also talked about live service games being just like Fortnite and Warzone and stuff that also just have like live updates and trend, right. like, you know, and new seasons and stuff like that. Like there's, there's a wide spectrum of live service games, but um, I don't really have a lot of experience with that category, but you do. Um, I guess, yeah, off the top of your head, just what are your thoughts on this rumor? Uh, what's your experience with Insomniac games as well? Uh, so I, I played Marvel Spider-Man because uh, it came to PC, and I thoroughly enjoyed that. I thought it was very cool. I liked it a lot. Um, and I was like, oh, yeah, I like this. Uh, that's I think that's my only experience with Insomniac games. Um, I'm obviously excited for Spider-Man 2 and Wolverine, but unfortunately, as is the case with most PlayStation games, I kind of have to um, rely on the whims of Sony if they want to put the game on PC or not, because I do not Which, own PlayStation. Nowadays, they're seems like they're bringing everything over it's kind of crazy like within like two or three years like god of war has come over already the last yep. of us came over just yep. last week the new ratchet and clank game came over like so you guys are getting everything over there which is kind of cool <laughs> i appreciate it um <clears throat> yeah so that's as far oh, as like so that's that's, that's 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 also another that's that's also an insomniac game is that new ratchet and clank game so when you have a chance mm -hmm. to play that that's there you go you can t try the other end of the spectrum spider-man yeah. to ratchet and clank which that yeah. game was incredible i played on ps5 and i freaking loved it it was great yeah as far as like live service games i know so destiny is ending next year potentially oh. i don't believe it was like going to actually end but like the end of the 10-year plan is next year okay. um and so We'll see what happens afterwards. Bungie has said that they're going to continue working on it. Uh, they're also 
making marathon which is another it's basically it sounds like it's basically tarkov um mm, okay. which i'm kind of down for i haven't played tarkov but a sci-fi bungee game that's like tarkov sounds fun to me um so i don't know uh a lot of people have tried to make live service games before and not or games in the same vein as destiny and they have mostly petered out um a lot of the time some of them have been good but we'll see what happens and some yeah. is a good studio so they might have the chops to do it yeah i would hope not only like yes they're an insomniac so they make they make good stuff right um they have that in their favor but with the playstation and bungie partnership i assume they would have the ability to like uh kind of show their work to bungie and be like hey check this out what do you think right. hey what do you think what yeah. do you think you know give us some right. feedback you know <laughs> that type of thing um and 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 hopefully make their game you know great you yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah 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 um but yeah obviously it's hard hard to tell um it is interesting yeah her with her esports background too though could it be more of a multiplayer focused thing uh like with uh, i guess well destiny has that too i always forget that destiny is more than just like a pve thing there is a pvp aspect to it so it, there is pvp it has been left to the wayside basically uh most of the community is like okay i guess it's it's not actually a pvp game anymore um i okay. really enjoyed the pvp in the game but um the bungie has kind of stopped supporting it recently okay there's a ranger of shadow in the chat saying the end of the current story the light and dark saga is ending there's going to be another overarching story coming soon yeah i'm curious though like true. if because they i mean they've done it once before i'm curious if they end up spinning that off into like a destiny 3 though you know do they yeah. start like, a whole new game because at this point like not that it, it doesn't look bad by any means like firing right. it up it looks gorgeous still but with all the new technology there is like if they could make a next gen version of destiny and then yeah again start up with a new story i wonder if they'll do something mm -hmm. like that um we'll, we'll see what happens yeah. um i know they didn't actually really want to do a destiny 2 but they were like under requirements from activision at the time to release and to release three titles and oh, then interesting. part of the reason why they like went independent again and got out of the activision um like umbrella was so that they didn't have to do that again because it, they put a lot of effort towards that and they were like we could have just kept on the same engine or in the same game which i don't actually believe would have been good i don't know how <laughs> well, well that would have been i yeah. i thoroughly enjoyed destiny one but um it's it's a nine-year-old game now and i don't think they really wanted would want to be on that like nine-year-old um infrastructure but right I think that they might do a Destiny 3, but I'm not sure how actually willing they are to do that. Yeah, how that would actually pan out for them there. Um, interesting. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what this turns into. I wonder, man, if that news was from like 2022 where we were hitting these, the, like that, this original Insomniac interview was from, I... I wonder if we hear something this at like game awards this year like that's usually where all the big announcements are i wonder if this december we finally get like the spider-man will be out we'll be yep. looking forward to a date for wolverine. wolverine yep hopefully within the next couple like year or two and then you know i it seems like insomniac fashion to always have a game that's coming up and then one to look forward to so if like yeah. spider-man's gone that means the game coming up is wolverine what's the right. one to look forward to maybe this whatever this unannounced yep. live service multiplayer game that's that they're that they're working on so i don't know we'll see it'll be fun uh and i'm sure you'll be excited because you you're a nerd I, who likes I those kind of those. games <laughs> and, and i'll play that if it if it's on pc i'll play it for that's, sure that's the thing it being an insomniac game i i don't know if it would be i i f ah, man i want to say it would be on everything just because it's an online live service game like it makes it's more weird sense to not have the on everything yeah, yeah it makes sense to have like a as big a player base as possible for matchmaking and all that but insomniac is a first party studio and things they make generally just go to playstation so right. it it would be not unheard of but very 
shocking still to be like, whoa, Insomniac game on Xbox? <laughs> like, yeah. That would be, I don't even know if that's happened before. Let's see, I have. Isn't on oh, Sunset Overdrive You're right. Uh, so, Insomniac game? Yeah, I think, so that was right before PlayStation bought, bought yeah. them. Yeah, 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 they did Sunset Overdrive and then PlayStation, PlayStation was like, yoink. So, yep. so yeah, so basically 2014 was the last time they made a, uh, an Xbox game. Oh, I take that back. back. Right when song, song, song of the Deep, apparently, in 2016. Oh, okay. Song of the Deep. Was that post PlayStation purchase? They might have already like been. Know. Oh, in so talks the acquisition was that. in 2019. I didn't realize it was that oh, recent. Wow, I thought okay. the acquisition was farther back than that. But yeah, no, 2019. So it's actually very okay. recent. Um, interesting. Okay. And basically, since the they've been picked up by Sony, they've been doing spider-man <laughs> until ratchet and clink obviously uh just marvel stuff yeah marvel spider-man uh miles morales ratchet and clank wolverine uh, but uh, if we'll it, see if, if imagine if it was the avengers game but done well like that would yeah. be so sick oh yeah like uh like he's in man that would be amazing that's an, an that's actual what good do. Avengers game would be very cool. So, that would be I mean, incredible. Yeah, that's if they could do that, that would brilliant. be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that is brilliant. I, I, I do not think that's what it is, but I 100% no. am on board with you. Like that would be incredible. It'd be very cool. Thank you so much for watching that clip from our podcast. Remember, if you want to watch the whole episode, the full episode link will be in the description below. You can click on that and uh, check it out. We got listener questions. We got more news segments. We got uh, what you're playing. We got a lot of fun things. So yeah, more than just the news. There's a little more, a lot more to the show that you should go check out. So remember, click that link in the description. Check out that full episode.